at first like I was a bit nervous and like she put me out so at ease it was it was great and we had so much in common like I don't know before I met him I just you have it I'm not gonna lie you have an image in your head of what you think they might look like you are anxious but it's normal it kind of makes you a bit more excited and I think if you didn't feel that then there's something missing It's just something new that like I'm going out running. And uh, the only time I do running is I'm running from the police. That I am like Limpid Christie. <laughs> like, Got a white off version. Of a, runs off of a truck. <laughs> I feel really comfortable with Josh. I did as soon as I met him. Josh is a polite boy. He's the kind of boy that will open the door for you. And he really cares about his mum. And I remember going back to probation and saying to Hannah, I really like him, you know, from the first meeting she said, wait a minute, just remember of what he's capable of, let me just bring you down a minute. And I kind of went, yeah, 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 true. Well, I was a good kid really, till about 13. Mm -hmm. My dad left my mum, which I found was a bit hard. I was crying and everything, because I used to go everywhere with my dad. I didn't care what anyone said, done. Mum would try to tell me off. I'll just jump out the bedroom window or whatever, you know what I mean? She couldn't control it, even though she tried. And then I just got into loads of trouble and everything. Burgling houses and stuff like that. And just being a little terror on the estate, you know. I had a few short prison sentences from like, from like when I was 16 to 18, you know, like six months. They were just doing six months and four months and you know, I weren't learning a lesson. So, but then I got on eight, eight years, four year, two months I've done out of it, and it, that made me realise like, you got to sort your life, life out and change now, innit? you know what I mean? So, I come here, got out, and then started up with a mental thing. I grew up on a council estate, and I've seen good guys choose the wrong path. If I could be a part of the, something, not going back to prison and creating a an amazing life or a new complete new path then you know i will and I, I, yeah i think it's a great opportunity you ready to get me oh did you just take it there yeah i took it there i went back to asking josh about his offenses one day i don't know what come over me to be honest we were on a run and we were having a bit of a laugh to be honest about some of the stupid stuff that he's done because <laughs> I said, you should have picked something else because that's clearly not, <laughs> you're not good at it, you know? <laughs> Telling me when he's ended up in ditches and uh, with nothing and dogs sniffing him out and losing his glasses. And I thought, you know what? Now's the right time to just ask him about his offence. But he then opened up and started talking about what had happened and whatnot. The main offence that I went for was I robbed someone's house while they was in. So we threatened them in that house. I I don't know how I how I could do that to somebody, but at the time I wasn't bothered. It was just about getting some money for me. I don't care about any anybody else. When I was that age then, I didn't didn't care what what happened to me. But anything could have happened to me. I didn't I didn't care. So why should I care about anyone else if I don't care about myself? Why should I care about anyone else? It was nice to know that he was comfortable enough to tell me. I just listened really when he was speaking because I just thought, wow, you know, for him to actually start saying all these things, he knows that I trusted him and I like him enough to know that, you know, I'm not going to judge him. And that's important to me to know that he knows that I'm not going to judge him. Before I met him, I was told that he was doing all right, but he took a dip. And in that dip, he'd been hanging about at houses where we're taking drugs and drinking and his, his test came back because he'd been taking drugs and um, you know he just needs some sort of guidance kind of thing. I think it was Hannah my probation it was her that made me realise that people do actually care. She heard a record about me of like he's uncontrollable she got a positive drug test if it was someone else they would have just recalled me straight away. I think I knew that she cared because she didn't want me to actually go back to jail, she just took the right step and said, "What well, right, you going home? You're gonna get told off by your mum. <laughs> My mum found out, she went mad, she grounded me. Because she I think she knew that I wanted to change, but I was just finding it hard. 
And I think that she took the right step. As of today, I can obviously now tell you that I'm no longer you no job. longer registered. And that's to your credit, John. Yeah. You know, that's because of the hard work and effort that you've put in. Um, and obviously other agencies that worked alongside you to provide you with that support. Mm. But it's now what you do going forward, you know? And that responsibility that you've got to maybe give something back, contribute, <laughs> you know, and, and, and live a better life. Josh started working and unfortunately missed the date for a payday. He had to wait weeks until we got paid and he kind of went on a little downward spiral where he was calling me saying, do they want me to re-offend because I've got no money. I thought, right, I need to see him because I don't know what's going on in, in his head. This day my mate come and he's like, oh yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got to go, and go out robbing something, do you want to come and that? I was like, yeah, 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 sweet. I'm coming, you know, I need some money on, I'm on my ass, I need some money on, I can't survive out here with no money. I said, I understand, don't get me wrong. I've, I've, you know, I've been in a situation where I've had no money myself. I said, I know how stressful it can be. I said, but three weeks or six years in prison, what do you want? Yeah, 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 I know, but, you know, and it was literally, my, I felt like I had to kind of show him how far he's come and award him on that. He come back about half uh, ten it was, he come back. And I said, he come, he said, right, you coming now? I said, nah. I'm not coming now. He's like, why? I said, like, what's the point? And then I said, if I got all this, yeah, what, and get, go back to jail for what? For a, for a couple of hundred quid or something, a couple of grand or something, what? I'm doing what? At least double figures, so, no, nah, no chance. I ain't doing nothing. I'm staying in my staying in house tonight. He's like, oh, you're a shit back. Here. I'm like, why? You said that you're going to go out and now you're not going out. I said, I don't care what you say. I'm not doing it. And I said, I just said to him, did you just hear yourself? I said, do you know how well you did to not even, you know, to turn him away? I said, and all I could think of was just praising him on that because to me, that's the biggest thing ever. Do you know, like you had it there to go and do it and you said, no, you made a choice. And I'm trying to make him realize you made a choice, Josh, and you made a brilliant one. And I think he was more concentrating on the fact that like, oh, you know, I slipped back into that kind of mentality. But I'm saying, do you know what? You, you gained something massive from this. You made a choice and you made the right one. I'm so proud of you. And, you know, I, it was so nice because we walked back and I felt like we'd it finally understood, you know. I'm used to just hanging about with friends that commit crime. I haven't got friends that will go out and try new things. So the mental those things is to get me out and make myself more confident. I never knew working was so good. It just makes you feel good. It makes, well, it makes me feel good anyway. <laughs> So we are all setting up a five-a-side team up free work. And it was Joe that made me realise that if I know if I go with people from work, then it's straight to the gym and coming home. When you think about things to do, no one really thinks of the theatre. And if they do, they think of musical theatre. And I know a lot of the guys are like, I'm not going to watch someone dancing around. Like, when I thought going to the theatre, I thought it was going to be like, oh, is it going to be boring and sitting there for an hour or something? When I got here, it was good. My mates used to say, like, when they used to see me, about uh, five, six o'clock, where are you going? Going out with a mentor. Who's your mentor? Woman from probation. Why are you going out with that? Why, why are you doing that? Because I want him, innit? What's really hard is trying not to create a friendship as such. And I say that only because when I leave Josh, I don't want to feel like something's missing and I want to feel like something's gained, you know what I mean? So getting to that point where it's like, right, you're, you trust me, you're comfortable with me, we have a good time together, we've made lots of progress, but wait a minute, I'm not, I'm not your friend. This relationship won't continue after we exit you. I miss going to see Jolda, but we do stay in contact. And if I do need her, or if I've ever got a problem, I can always phone her. If I still need her, she'll, she'll always need her. This is the longest I've ever been out of jail. I don't even think about committing crime anymore. I'm not trying to finish just my long legs.